Peter Morris is a leading figure in transplantation, and I say is because although he's retired, he's still working hard at it. In those days, I often would do the tissue typing, then remove the kidneys, and then stay and put one of the two in. There were centres who were carrying out pure research on transplantation, perhaps in some animal models, and there were centres who were building up clinical practice and, and showing us how to do it. But he was one of the first people to actually combine those. We developed using microsurgical techniques, renal transplantation in the uh, rat. And with inbred strains of rat, we were able to explore mechanisms of rejection and mechanisms of suppressing rejection. This ranged from drugs like cyclosporin, looking at the types of cells that cause rejection, and then how you could produce tolerance. Some of his early work was involved in the characterization of, of the proteins on cells, which we um, absorbent tissue typing. The rationale is the closer we match the donor and recipient for these antigens, the less likely they are to have an immune response resulting in rejection. We're able to develop better explanations of what happened, what caused rejection, what cells were involved, and then how you could suppress the rejection using drugs and then biological agents, even with modern tissue typing techniques, modern immunosuppression, matching just for HLADR, has a very significant impact on graft outcome. So it had, did have an impact and continues to have an impact. Well, the MRC had an enormous role uh, in funding my research over 20 years. And it, you know, we had support from lots of other bodies, as you might imagine, but it provided the stability which you need for any large research program.